Good morning, YouTube. It's just such a marvelous day here in Texas, and I'm just so full of tremendous energy, and I'm just ready for all this uh, political wrangling. I'm just getting such a thrill out of it, and uh, I, uh, I'm here this morning with a, a guy named uh, Timothy Leapard, and uh, uh, look at him standing there in front of that flag. I mean, I knew he was a man when I seen him standing there in front of the flag like that. Uh, he's running for president as an independent candidate. Uh, because he sees that uh, he has a lot to offer the country that uh, maybe the other candidates are not offering. And so I, I want to go through and, uh, and examine his platform and see what I can come through. Because I'm a guy I likes to go through with a fine tooth comb. And if I can find anything wrong, I like to bring it up. And so I'm good at that. I've gone through all the inaugural speeches and uh, every speech that all the presidents have made. And uh, I read everything Woodrow Wilson has written, and which is a whole lot, and everything Richard Nixon has written. And I always go through with a fine tooth comb. And if there's anything wrong, I find it and, and I and I bring it out and so I'm gonna I'm gonna just see what all I can find uh, uh, wrong here there's not much you know I agree with most of what he says I, there's a few areas though that may I, I may clarify it and it's just a, it's just a, a lot of enjoyment to just to be able to do that you know I mean uh, I uh, I want to uh, just sit back and enjoy uh, all these these guys these wonderful people uh, uh, wrangling with each other and uh, taking pot shots and and I can just uh, remain here in the nice little sh quiet shade and just watch all of it <laughs> and uh, and I'll make sure and uh, say uh, uh, terrible things at certain times to make sure I don't get to, nobody gets the idea that they want to put me in as president because I, I don't want to I'd rather see Timothy Leapart get there you know look at him see he's re he's ready to go and and he enjoys actually getting in there and doing the job. And really, I, all I enjoy is just uh, sitting back here uh, watching people take shot, pot shots at each other. So <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy seeing him up there uh, uh, or whatever president we have. I'm just going to enjoy so much because I can just sit and watch them uh, going through all of that. And that's just going to be so much fun. But I want to see what uh, what he uh he has to say here. And then I'm excited about another thing here this morning that, you know, I mean, uh, we are. Uh, we're getting the captions, uh, and uh, where we've always had the captions, but what we're getting now is the transcripts uh, on all of these programs, and uh, that's that's just a marvelous thing because I speak six different languages, and I'll be able to tr use those ca those uh, transcripts to translate these uh, languages uh, into uh, uh, other countries of the world, and and I'll be able to. Uh, Translate the speeches uh, to where people can uh, understand them in all uh, all of the six languages which I understand, and uh, so uh, I want to just going to let you see uh, what what's going on here with this. Just see a little bit of what he's saying, and uh, I, I probably ought to uh, be uh, thinking about uh, running for the uh, UN Secretary General rather than uh, running for. For, for president, but I'm kind of like Obama, though, you know, I, and Clinton was, uh, I want to be both of them. <laughs> I want to be the UN director and the president, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and even preferably even at the same, both at the same time, but, uh, uh, you know, Obama, he's going to try to, to, uh, be this, be the UN secretary general after he gets out of, uh, uh out of office as president. And so, uh, that's, uh, that might be a good idea for him, uh, and it might not be for us. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but uh, and uh, Clinton, I think he uh, uh, decided that he wants to get back in the White House and run alongside Clinton with his wife uh, Hillary, and and uh, and do that instead of going to to, to the United Nations. But uh, uh, that uh, that United Nations, that's a thrilling thing, you know, to be able to. Uh, uh, speak to all the different uh, leaders of all the countries of the world. It's just it's just a wonderful thing. We should all be learning uh, foreign languages and and uh, preparing to be able to communicate around the world because we got the internet and everything that allows us to do that. Uh, but let me uh, let me see if I can uh, what I can do here with it. And you know, look, notice how clear this is. I mean, he's got this in HD now. That's what I was telling you, Tim. Get it, get it in HD. Uh, and now, I mean, I can just really work with this, just like he and I is in the same room together. And that's just so marvelous here. Uh, you can, this, you can see that this, this is all, this is all the way across the uh, a large desk, and it's still picking up clear. You, you can still tell just exactly who that is in there uh, from that far off. And then I'm going to move it up here closer so you can tell even better. Uh, but uh, let me get it down here, and I'm gonna let you see a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna see a little bit of what he's saying. And uh, 
speaks about the solution. And, uh, just a whole lot of interesting complimentary with pro. Okay, it didn't work. And so I'm going to attempt to run this through here real fast and just let you see a little bit what it's saying. And then I'm going to get to the comments uh, that are down below there, which is what I really want to get into. And he made some real good comments and others have made some real good comments. Uh, so let's, uh, let me see if I can. And we've got to cut that and uh, move it up here. And, And uh, we'll get it right up there, and it can be read because of the clarity of it. And you'll be able to read what uh, some of the things that are being, able, being said there. And you can just check out what's in the what is in the uh, black. There shows up really clear uh, the black background, or the gray background. And uh, okay, so we have a. Uh, Him saying uh, both of these qu candidates have disqualified themselves from serious consideration. He says, I want you to, to encourage you not let your party loyally take the place of your close to hell principles. And then he says Donald uh, is wrong on many levels. And he says the very idea that he needs to make America great again. And, uh, and then he talks about that we've got problems and that we need to identify and fix. Uh, but not to talk condescendingly and derogatory, uh, domestic and internationally, uh, frustration with the establishment, not unifying, exciting violence is not good leadership, disease will be disastrous on the world stage. We've become a superpower in a short time with all the complexities. And we're doing pretty good so far. If we continue the way we're going, said I wouldn't live anywhere else. Okay. Uh, we hurrying through this. You know that the answer. Uh, <clears throat> and he talks about some about cam con campaign contributions. And he says Trump is more of an insider than most of our politicians because he plays both sides of the field in the middle. Do you realize he's changed party affiliations six times? Seems like if there's a dollar in it, Trump seems down and get it, gets it. Uh, spending millions of dollars. Okay, Donald complains about America never winning anymore, but he's a billionaire and he's flying around in his own personal jet. Looks like he's uh, doesn't make him seem too sincere. Nothing wrong with wealth. I'm mean, all for it, but stop the incessant whining. And you really think someone who's involved in over 500 different companies is going to hand over control to his kids and give his full attention to the presidency? I don't believe that for a minute. Maybe he is not as rich as he claims. He, he, he won't. Uh, but he won't release his tax returns. So uh, the last years or so, uh, he's made such a big deal about how much money he has as a result of his fabulous business acumen. But uh, Timothy wants him to prove it, prove it, Donald, prove it. Uh, because he fears that it's only smoke and mirrors, having a billion dollars worth of stuff, but maybe not actual dollars. Uh, maybe, you know, just putting on a front to show, uh, running for the job because you need the money. He may be running for the job because he needs the money. Um, Donald uses cheap foreign labor and manufactures some of his products because it's cheap and he makes more profit that way. But then he complains about how the same companies do that, uh, ripping up away jobs from Americans. Okay. So do you realize if he slaps these huge tariffs on China and Mexico that, your Walmart bill is going to go up three or four times. Uh, fair trade means fair for us, but that uh, does not mean we're going to mistreat our trading partners and trade wars often escalate and the shooting wars. Uh, worst thing that you can think in most uh, of the sale. Uh, see, worst thing you can. Couple of. Okay, he talks about the border wall. And he's not going to, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, we actually have a current huh. well, it's like I'm going to have to pause it for a second.
here and back it up he uh, sped up his speed of talking or something okay Okay, Donald uses uh, cheap foreign labor to manufacture some of his own products because it's cheap and he makes more profits that way, but then he complains about the same companies in the same uh, countries uh, ripping us off and taking jobs away from the Americans, so it's okay for him to do it, but not for everybody else. And he says, do you realize if he, if we, uh, sla if he slaps these huge tariffs on China and Mexico... Uh, that our Walmart bill is going to probably triple or quadruple. And, uh, and then he asked, how is that going to be working for you? Okay, fair trade means fair trade for us too, but does that, that does not mean we're going to mistreat our trading partners. And uh, trade wars often escalate into shooting wars, especially in a fragile economy like we have now. We don't need any more uh, and then he talks about border enforcement and he doesn't like Trump's plan for the border. Um, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, we have a current net loss of immigrants. There's more immigrants leaving than are coming in. But that doesn't get put on the headlines, so nobody's talking about the real problems that need real solutions, not empty and inflammatory rhetoric, rhetoric when leaders start acting, thinking that there are always long-term unintended negative consequences, just like we're doing right now, ripping off through our ripping all through our country, the whole world, uh, world duty year. Uh, we're globally connected, and more so as the world continues to get smaller. And we have to keep that in mind. Uh, okay. Apparently he makes big boasts for, uh, because he's posturing simply for political gain. But uh, Timothy feels that's a losing proposition because you can get, you can cut through all the clutter without being rude and crude. You can be firm without being foul, but he's never had to learn that because he grew up in a private company where his word is law, and he started a TV show where you can fire people at will. It's different in the real world. Adults have to learn to play well with others, and we don't know how that will work either uh, with him because he's never debated any of his po opponents one-on-one. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, that's that, that's some of that, and uh, he's got a couple more minutes there that you'll have to check out on his, his uh, channel, and uh, then I'll get to the uh, the comments down there uh, below. Seems like this time just runs out so fast. Before I just get started having fun, my time's up. Uh, but uh, we'll continue on in uh, in the next video, and uh, we'll go on down here. Uh, well, I just nearly had it. Okay, we'll go on down here to the next uh, to the comments down here, and uh, this is where uh, I say here the first comment. Uh, myself, the spirit of ecstasy. Uh, I say uh, we're we're right there towards the end at 8:14 to 8:19 where uh, he was speaking about uh, oh he was asking the question uh, about uh, well, that he needed somebody uh, he needed to find out exactly uh, you know uh, what all the regulations are and everything about uh, filing for uh, uh, you know filing correctly as an independent co candidate and then he needed to. Uh, uh, find people that wanted to uh, form a wedge uh, formation behind him and all that kind of thing. And so he's looking, seeking for support and all. And so, uh, you know, then I made the first comment on that. Then he came back and he had a real good comment afterwards, which I'm going to get into in the next video. So we'll go now to the uh, to the next video.